Hey, it's Marquetta Breslin, and I'm back with yet another Q&A. And this one is from Sabrina. Sabrina says, my niece is biracial and she doesn't like her natural curly hair. No. Okay, so I'm not going to keep reading. I want to stop right here because I have a special place in my heart for biracial children because I am the mother of two. And I understand where her niece is coming from because my daughter felt the same way for a very long time from a very small age. And her issue came from being in a school where everybody had long, straight hair. And she didn't understand that her hair was different and her hair was curly and her hair was beautiful. So it literally took me years of telling her every day, you're beautiful, your hair is beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is the way God made you. People pay for that kind of hair. I pay for that kind of hair. So I understand where she's coming from, but, and I'm not trying to tell anyone how to parent their children, but I think that it's very important for your niece to understand that her hair is gorgeous the way it is, the natural way. It's okay if she wants to straighten her hair. Don't get me wrong. I am not the natural hair police. Not now, nor do I ever claim to be the natural hair police. I'm just not like that. But it is important to love yourself in your natural way. And when you learn that at a young age, you grow up and you're just a much more confident individual. So I'm going to continue to read, but that was my little spiel about children with the curly hair and biracial kids. Okay. So, all right. So let me go back a little bit. She doesn't like her naturally curly hair and she wants straight hair. I told her I won't put a relaxer in it, good for you, because I don't want to damage the, her natural curl pattern. I have been reading about the Brazilian blowout and the keratin smoothing system, but do not know which route to go. So if you can help me or send me some sites so I can choose the right option for her. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Well, a few years ago, I wrote a blog about the keratin smoothing system. And I said how I loved it so much. And it was a great system, was an amazing product. And of the ones that are available that you have to be certified for, that was the truth. I did like it. But you still, I still didn't feel right about it. And I used not the full system on my daughter, but I used the blowout on my daughter a few times. And I noticed her, she was starting to lose her natural curl pattern because I was doing them every six to eight weeks for her. And I only did it just to reduce the frizz, but the frizz was being reduced so much that some of her hair was becoming wavy. And I didn't want that. I wanted her natural ringlets back. So I completely stopped doing it. And over time, it did eventually wash out. But as of now, I don't feel the same way about that product. I would not use that product on a child and probably not an adult unless it was like a once a year type of thing. The Brazilian blowout, no. They've just had a new study come out maybe a couple of months ago. I was talking with another stylist about that and they found formaldehyde, analdehyde, any aldehyde that are in these products is toxic fumes. That's part of the reason why I am not able to do hair anymore because of the fumes and stuff that are in and the chemicals that are in some of these products. So that is why I love to teach. That's why I love doing this, doing these Q and A's so that I can educate people like you who have these valid questions that have nowhere to go to find a good source for an answer. So I would not do either of these systems, but what I would do, is they have lots and lots of different alternatives now. And there's a specific one called Calm, K-A-H-M, I believe. I'll find a, a picture of it and I'll post it in this video. But that is a product that you use. You just rub it on the hair while the hair is wet. You blow dry it into the hair and you flat iron the hair. And it, la it makes the blowout last for a little bit longer than normal. It is not permanent. And when you shampoo your hair, it's not going to make the frizz reduce or anything like that. It just helps 
to make the hair stay straighter a little bit longer instead of going outside and then you looking like you just got out of the shower because of the humidity. And that works really, 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 really well. I used to use that a lot on my natural clients and they absolutely loved it. It got rave reviews from them, so they loved it a lot. So that is an alternative. So my answer is don't go with any type of keratin smoothing anything. I would not do it. I wouldn't even do the express blowout through keratin. I would just go with something a little bit more natural, a little less permanent so that she can still maintain that beautiful curl pattern that I'm sure she has, although I have never met her. But um, I, want, I, I want to make sure I reiterate that to you. So hopefully this answered your question. If not, you know, you can always email me and ask me anything else and I'll be right here sitting in front of this camera trying to answer your questions and educate you on whatever it is you need to know. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk with you soon.